Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're not new. Obviously, you guys are curious to see what I got. I did mention in my a few vlogs, like a vlog or two ago, that I did sell my Neverfull GM and that was the monogram one and the Viquetta was still looking so beautiful and after I sold it I was kind of like oh do I regret it or not like I was really unsure but I went ahead and shipped it out the next morning because the buyer wanted it right away so I did that for her and I also sold the Alma BB and those two bags I actually got from a reseller which I do not recommend at all because they are still scamming people if you guys have not seen my video on that I will link it down below but I have received so many text messages and so many dms of people saying that they got scammed by them and i feel so horrible like i said in that video i feel so bad that i even recommended them so i'm truly sorry but i hope that you guys tell your family and friends to never purchase from them ever 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 they are just going to take your money and not even care i actually had a subscriber reach out to me and tell me that they actually scammed her about a month ago and she purchased the item they had supposedly said they were going to get another one in and they never like messaged her back they kept saying the same thing that they said to me oh we're gonna sh we're gonna ship it out we're gonna ship it out sorry i just started and they just kept saying that and saying that and they were giving her like fake tracking numbers and it's just such it's so horrible to take advantage of people during this time especially if they want to splurge or if they want to treat themselves or if they just got paid after a long time of like not working it's honestly so horrible and it makes me sick to my stomach thinking that there are people out there doing that so you guys please do not purchase from them and yeah, it's just horrible. Just check my video down below and I'll link it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. I do want to mention my experience um, after I unbox it so you guys can see that. So first we have this item here. This is an SLG and it's, as you can see, it is a little card case. Um, they had a lot of SLGs in stock, so I just wanted to go ahead and look at a few of them. If you guys saw the vlog, you guys probably saw this. I don't know if I, I don't remember if I featured it or not, but it comes in this dust bag here. And it is the Ampriant card holder. This is so beautiful, you guys. I absolutely love the shade. Let me bring it in so you guys can see that a little bit more. So this is the Ampriant, so it does have like an embossed LV and it is just so beautiful. I love the gold detailing up there. You can't really see the Louis Vuitton Paris too much in there, but it is so beautiful and it has, oops, it has one card slot here, another one in the front, and then it just has an open spot there. And then in the center, we just have the Care Booklet Monogram Ampriant. This is my first Ampriant piece, so I'm very excited to have it. It just is the price. This one retails for $3.90. And then you get your Care little textile card. I also got this booklet. It also has another SKU number in there, like so. And then in the back, I just have this paper to kind of hold the shape i think that's what it's for so this one is so beautiful you guys i have just been so obsessed with their pink slgs and just pink everything i just love it so much and i don't think that it's a color that i'm going to get tired of i absolutely love this color and i just think it's so beautiful and i wanted a card case for a long time because louis vuitton is not doing any repairs currently so my victorine wallet i have some glazing issues on that and then my saint laurent um garment i think that's what it, they called it garment i think they called it a garment card holder but i purchased that from Saks, and i was really upset because the stitching popped and saint laurent is not willing to repair it they told me to go to a local cobbler and that they would repair it for me and after that i have decided that i am just not going to buy saint laurent for that reason i feel like if you even if you buy something from Saks, i feel like you should be able to take it to the stores they said if you buy it in stores you do have a two year warranty but everyone prefers to buy out of the stores because that's where most of the sales are and i guess that's something that you lose when you're buying outside of the store with saint laurent you're not getting you're not getting the uh like you know experience that you would hope that you would get so i'm never buying from saint laurent ever again and i will never bite my tongue on that because i don't even i'm not like a huge huge fan of their pieces or the brand i there's like a few things here and there that i did like but 
after they told me that, I was just like, okay, that's it. Like, I can't buy anything because how am I going to buy something and it gets ruined and then I can't take it back into stores. So that kind of really put a bad taste in my mouth. But anyway, so I was going to look at other card holders from them, but I was like, no, I'll just buy from the Louis Vuitton. So I purchased this one. This is so beautiful. I'm so obsessed with it. And it's pink, so it's easy to find in my bags and I just love it. It fits in the Nano Speedy pretty well. I will show you guys. Uh, I was actually using it today, so let me go get it. Just take the card holder and it's really easily in there really easy to find and the lining is just the brown textile lining so it's not going to like stain it or get any color transfer and so yeah I'm really excited about this card case I'm gonna switch out my stuff right after this video I was wearing my nano speedy today so let me go ahead and unbox this and I'll let you guys know my experience so I'm going to <laughs> this is my favorite part <laughs> And then there's a knot on it, so I'm just going to take it off this way. This is the box it came in. Can you guys guess what it is? Ah, so exciting. So here is my item. And it is the Palm Springs Mini Backpack. Yes. Are you guys shocked? <laughs> because... I actually had this in a list of things that I would never buy. Yes, I will talk about that. So let's put this here. Um, okay, so I want to talk about my experience really quick at Beverly Center because I was not happy. So I got this, not this one, but I got the same bag from a CA from Beverly Center on Instagram and everyone said that this bag was hard to get so I was like oh my god like I, I'm gonna get it like I'm gonna get it because when are they gonna have another one and I never saw it on on the, what the website because I was always stocking the website and I couldn't get it so I was like okay maybe I should just wait and I'll see I asked my CA he was like we should be getting one in a few days and she already had it and I was scared that someone else would get it so I was like okay well I'll just take that one so I got this one from the CA at Beverly Center and then I asked her for a few things after that and she like didn't text me back so I was like what? I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. So anyway, she sold me the bag and I had to go pick it up in stores. So I went to go get it in stores. And my experience at that store was just kind of like I felt rushed and I didn't really, I didn't really like my experience because of course people were waiting outside and you have to line up in a queue now. And I just really didn't want to be rushed. And the manager there told me not to film, which was kind of annoying. So I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna go to this location anymore because I just did not like it. And the CA that helped me, he was pretty nice, but I still felt like I was being a little bit rushed because it was like, what's next, what's next? And I just wanted to like look around and like try stuff on. And I don't know, I just really didn't, um, I just wasn't really happy with that whole experience. And so I, so then the next day my CA texted me and he was like, Jenny, we just got five yes five in and he said but i looked at your account and it looks like you already got one from the beverly center and i said you know what like i'm willing to just return it and then purchase it again from this location from rodeo drive because i believe rodeo drive is a flagship store if you guys didn't know but i was like you know what like i'm just gonna return it there and then i'll go and purchase it from rodeo drive because i really did not like my experience there and i just like i just thought for the seed to not message me after I asked for other things, I was just kind of like, mm, well, whatever, like, you know, I guess you're trying to make your sales, but whatever. So anyway, I returned the other one and this one was more aligned and it just looked a lot better and they were like five fresh from the new warehouses. And so I just, I just wanted this one. So yeah. Um, I was really happy with it. I love the way that it looks. And the other one for the back, it was kind of like smushed. It looked really smushed and not as puffy as this one. And I really love it. Like this side doesn't really line up too much, but the other one was like way worse. So, but you can kind of get the idea. It's not one piece of canvas, so obviously it's not going to line up completely, but I still love that the front lines up like perfectly. That's like my main thing that I was looking at because I did not want one that looked that did not line up as much as I wanted it to. So yeah, the new one comes with this zipper, exposed zipper. 
here I have the straps and the care booklet and textile cards and everything. I plan on wearing this as a crossbody. I saw so many people wearing it as such and I thought it looked so cute and I was just like really excited about it. So I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna get it and wear it as a crossbody. And I like that the straps are adjustable because you can adjust it to the height that you want it. So it's not literally all the way down to my thighs. You guys know that was my problem with the Alma BB. It just went so far down and I was just like, no, I can't do this. Like I really can't. So yeah, I really just did not like that bag at all. And I realized after my second time purchasing it, I was like, this bag is just not for me. So yes, yeah, so I did get this one. I know that I said that it was in the like bags I will never buy but you guys you guys people change their minds we're allowed to change our minds okay and I felt like the more that I saw it the more I was like oh that could be functional in my lifestyle and when I'm with my little sister I love wearing backpacks because she has her stuff that she wants me to carry and I have to be hands-free because I'm like going after her and I'm always playing with her and everything so I wanted to get something for that and I just like really love I really love the look now and yes, I eat my words, whatever, but I really like it and I think it's super cute and I'm really happy that I was able to get it. Can you guys see Luna? I had her covered up, you poor thing. Go go, Luna. Okay. So, I said that I would never purchase this bag because one, I don't like backpacks and I still don't, but I started seeing more and more people carry it as a crossbody and I was just like wow that is so cute as a crossbody and so that's how I personally plan on wearing it and I don't plan on wearing it as a backpack unless I have to go visit my little sister but even then I still feel like I could wear it as a crossbody because I still think that it'll look good so I have all the straps here I need a short one and a long one So yes, this is like brand new, like no one even poked any holes in it or anything. So I'm just like so excited to have this one. And I really wanted this one because I like that it's black with monogram and it's just easier to carry and easier to just throw your stuff in there. When I have a bigger bag, I feel like I just tend to throw everything in there and I don't like doing that because it hurts my back. I know I'm old. Uh, but it hurts my back a little bit and I'm only like 26, okay? I feel like some people thought I was like older. I don't know, maybe I look old, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to open this and mine is made in the US, which I'm not, like I don't care too much about. At least not for this because I wanted it. This is Palm Springs new version, I think NV mini monogram. Okay, I want to see the date code because I'm not exactly sure. The date code for the new version, um, the old date code was in the pocket, in the internal pocket, but on the new one, they put it on, I don't know if you guys can see that, but they put it on the lining on the outside, so it's just like right there. You guys can see that. My date code is TX, so Texas, I guess. Um, TX. 2270 so 27th week of 2020 wow why did i just go crazy looking for that okay so that concludes my unboxing for today i really hope that you guys enjoyed it if you guys have this bag let me know how you wear it or what your favorite way of wearing it is and some of the outfits that you like whether you like casual or dressy i think this one you can wear with pretty casual outfits i don't think that you can dress this up at all so this would be for my more casual days if I'm wearing like black or something or like a darker color my nano speedy i love it when i wear like lighter colors and like baby blues and stuff like that so i think it just looks better with those colors but with this one this will be like my mini like carry on with me like black bag i just think it's so cute and i really love it the hardware is so shiny and it just looks so good. I feel like this pocket looks a little bit bigger than the original ones. A Purell sanitizer can actually fit in here, which is nice. And I just love it. Everything about this one is just like way better. I hope that you guys enjoyed my unboxing. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe down below if you aren't already. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.